In the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed be our Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be his Mother Virgin Mary, our beloved Mother too. Dear brothers and sisters, at the very last Sunday of the liturgical year, we are celebrating Christ as King. In the Gospel, he is presented to us as the suffering servant of God. He is tortured, he is put to death unjustly. And why did he do all this? Well, in the reading, the Colossians, in first chapter, we are reading this. Let us give thanks to the Father who has made you fit to share in the inheritance of the Holy Ones in the light. He delivered us from the power of darkness and transferred us to the kingdom of his beloved Son, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. Dear brothers and sisters, this is the work of Jesus. He has come to take on him all the sins. He has come to be the Lamb of God and to set us free, to make us fit for God the Father, to make us fit and heal us for the kingdom of God. Dear brothers and sisters, this is our joy and this is why we love and adore Jesus, who is the only one who can save us from sin and also the consequence of sin from eternal death. So at the end of this reading, it says, He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he himself might be preeminent. My Jesus, have, may Jesus always have priority in our lives. May we live and walk under his blessing, under his eyes, in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. A blessed day to each one of us.